on the topic of uh, data and AI leadership, you know, I think it's helpful to put it in perspective and see where we are today. So fundamentally, you know, the chief data officer role didn't really exist until the financial crisis of 2008, 2009. And then it was largely mandated for major banks in particular. So that type of financial crisis wouldn't happen again. And it was largely a risk and regulatory role, but it quickly spread into other industries, evolved into an offensive role focused on building the business developing new capabilities. And at that time, it, you know, it added in the analytics piece. So many chief data officers became chief data and analytics officers. And over those years, uh, since 2008, the role progressively became a more offensive and focused on developing the business. And it's worth noting, you mentioned the survey that I've been conducting since 2012. And when we first conducted the survey back then, one of the questions we asked was whether your organization had appointed a chief data officer. And at that time in 2012, only 12% of organizations had. It was only by 2017 that we were over 50% at uh, roughly 56%. But this year, it's 90%. So the role is clearly here and it's clearly established. However, oh my one of the things that's also happening in conjunction with this is the appearance of the chief AI officer. And last year, for the first time, we asked, have you appointed a chief AI officer? And we're surprised that actually a third of the organization said that they had appointed somebody in role or capacity. And this year it jumped to uh, 39%. So it's significant. And we also asked, should a chief AI officer be appointed? And over 50% said yes. And thinking about that, that led to an article that published in Harvard Business Review last week, uh, co-authored with Vipin Gopal, longtime chief data officer at Eli Lilly and Walgreens, and Tom Davenport. And what we stated in the article was we advocated for a for unified chief data analytics and AI officer role. In, incredible. First of all, 90% of people yes. now have chief data officers. That is incredible. Now, what is confusing to me a little bit is the fact that this this unification that you call off as chief data and AI officer, right? So in my mind, and please correct me if I'm wrong, I'm thinking AI is very pervasive in multiple parts of the organizations. It was as much to stay stimulate conversation to force people to think. Now, about 80% of the responses have been, we fully agree, and about 20% have been, we disagree for these reasons. And one of the reasons that is a very valid reason is that none of these things are simple, but the AI is widely federated and spread out, and the data is arguably more, more centralized. 